Okay, off we go. Hello, my name's Lucy and I'd like to introduce to my ferrets. And hello, this is Reuven, aren't you? Yes, oh God. And he just wants to give me kisses because he's a very affectionate ferret, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. You're also very playful, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. And he just likes to play, basically. And obviously, you can see he's a polecat. Um, no, he just wants to get off my knee, because he's obviously very aware of the camera. Um, and that's it, really. He, uh, yeah, he's a very lovely ferret, and they're all very lovely, because, yeah, because I love them. Ooh. Shall we just put you on the floor, because you're getting a bit too... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yes, I love you too. Mwah. Ah, we got Mordecai here. This is Mordecai. And um, he's got a bit of a funny nose. We don't, don't know where this is. Um, it's very unusual for a ferret to have a nose of this shape. Um, but yeah, um, he's generally a very soppy, affectionate one. And um, it's a bit stinky at times, to be honest. But um, yeah, he tends to follow people about and get in kinds, all kinds of... Uh, mischief but yeah he's um a bit of a character mm. let's put you under fly shall yeah okay let's get rid of and of course we've got yentl now yentl although she's small much more because she's a female she's only literally half the size of any of the other ferrets um, but this however does not stop her from um being the way she is, which means generally she mean is the fact that the matter is she's a lot more aggressive. As you can see, she's actually trying to bite me right now, um, <laughs> unsuccessfully, of course. Um, yes, she's a bit of a tear away. She's the most mischievous ferret of them all, and um, yeah, definitely the most bitey and aggressive. So basically. Um, what she doesn't make up in size, she makes up in personality. Um, anyway, she's getting very aggressive and I really don't want to have any more bites. So let's put her on the floor for a little while. And of course, Yas, but not least, Yakov, who, though, now he's the biggest of the ferrets. You can see he's almost as big as a cat. Now I've got another ferret biting my ankles, which is getting a little bit painful. Ouch. Um, this is Yakov, and he's like, obviously you can see he's an albino, um, pink eyes, big nose, white, off-white. He's very big, he's much bigger than any of the other ferrets, we don't know why, he's just generally, and, um, very, very soppy. Soppier than a cat. Um, generally just kind of falls asleep on you and occasionally licks you. Um... And just spend most of the time fast asleep um, or eating. Um, he has a tendency to snort incredibly loud. Um, and um, yeah, he is very stinky. He has a, I don't know what it is about him, but um, has a bit of a tendency to let his glands off, which, you know, isn't mm. very nice, particularly when you've got guests. Anyway. These are my ferrets, and I hope you enjoyed meeting them. And um, if you consider getting ferrets, I reckon I really may recommend getting them because, well, they make the most best pets you could ever imagine because they're just so cute and adorable and they're incredibly affectionate. Um, a lot of people um, think that they're aggressive. Um, generally, the ones that are used for hunting are aggressive. Um, obviously because they use for hunting, but, you know, if you handle a ferret, um, as a pet, they're basically no more aggressive than a pussycat. Um, so, yeah, go and get yourself a ferret. Bye bye. Four minutes fifty.
play that back to me just to make sure it's all right. It's fun. It's actually felt quite warm. You knew about the bits. I really didn't sort of go into much depth about fairy tales, but I don't suppose anyone wants to know. Well, they won't. They won't need depth. They just. They just want that kind of unusual thing. Yeah. You're not looking to make a documentary, are they? Mm. <laughs> Would you want to sniff on the shoes? just be amazed that you've woken up and there's all things going on. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd like, whoosh, nice. Oh, I've ever played you that, you silly song. Oh, you've been on it. You're not cooperating. Oh. Of course, you could never put children or small animals in plastic bags. That's really that I was going to do a child if you're not particularly small. <laughs> Okay, because that was quite natural, wasn't it? Sleeping about. What are you going to do a war dance room with your father? You could get them to do it if you put the camera near them, actually, they would. Four ferrets, but seems to be ferrety stuff going in, going on in at least six or seven places. I don't think they're constrained by human laws, no, no. are they? Dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> 